Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to glam up our living room for spring because we just got a brand new couch from West Elm. This is our old couch from West Elm. This was called the Peggy couch. And as you can see, it has buttons on the seat cushions. These buttons on the seat cushions were mainly the reason it was voluntarily recalled by West Elm because if you would slide left and right on the seats, there is a very high chance the buttons could pop off. So after the fourth or fifth button I was like you know what we need to call West Elm and replace this couch and they were very nice and worked with us they took away the old couch and gave us a refund for it after we purchased a new couch so we purchased a brand new couch this is the Drake from West Elm looks exactly the same except no buttons on the seat <laughs> next to the couch we have this beautiful poppin seat uh, that actually has storage inside it has all of our extra throw pillows and throw blankets and winter things so here is our beautiful brand new drake couch i love it so when we got the new couch i was like man i want to glam up the living room just a little bit because i was kind of tired of like the blue tones and all that stuff not that i hate the blue tones but i wanted to jump a little bit on a color trend the blush and charcoal color trend and I want to jump on the car the, um, the copper color trend as well so this is our little tray that we have in front of the TV that holds our remotes and it's also slightly decorative and it just it just pulls the table together so I had a mishmash of things on here that weren't really working together color color wise I do love this little copper um, artificial succulent that I got from Marshalls but this little plate that it was on just wasn't really working for me either and we've got some mismatched sort of weird coaster action going on and from one set of coasters we had some dirt and dog hair so I wanted to clean that up a little bit and make a difference so I went to Marshalls and I spent about $75 minus the yoga mat and picked up some new throw pillows and a new throw blanket it and I wanted to mix it up just an update though the entryway still looking good still looking good working for us I actually had some fake succulents hanging around in my bedroom and I put those on the front too and now I think they look extra cute there Anyway, the first thing I did, what I did was grab a space bag for the old pillows that I wasn't going to be using this, this season. I'm going to put them away for a couple of seasons and then I'm going to actually purchase some covers for them when I want to change color trends. Like say, you know, next season is a new color trend. I'm going to jump on, but I'm just going to get some covers for the pillows instead of buying all new pillows. Because you know what? Throw pillows are freaking expensive. <laughs> anyway you're gonna need a vacuum for a space bag if you've ever used a space bag. So I got my trusty Dyson 44 Animal and I stuffed my pillow into this space bag. This was actually a cube bag, so I had a little more space in this bag than I did the regular bags, but it's still, the struggle was still real trying to get that in there, you know. And then I zipped it all the way up also, when I work with space bags, before I actually start vacuuming the air out, I like to press on the bag. And you know, there was some good YouTube drama. There was a good YouTube drama video, and I just wanted to hear what they had to say. I was, I was really into it. I, I just, I didn't care if I was filming or not. Anyway, like I said, I like to press all the extra air out that I can before I start vacuuming, just so I don't have to vacuum for like a million years and use all of that vacuum battery. You know what I'm saying? So I follow the directions and. I tried to vacuum all of the air out and make the pillow as small as possible. did the same thing to the other bag, but this is an example of what you probably shouldn't do according to Ziploc with these space bags. The bag is too small and I'm stuffing it way, I'm just, it's way too small for this pillow, but you know what? I just wanted to put it away and you know what? It worked for me. We'll see if it stays compressed all season, but you know, honestly, you should, you should use a bigger space bag for something this big. After that, I grabbed my winter storage box, which had all my winter coats in it, and I stuffed them inside. I will admit they were kind of big, but you know what? They made it inside there. And uh, as long as they made it inside there and the, it, was, it was able to close, I was good with it. <laughs> While I was 
was cleaning up, I decided to just take all of those pillows off and vacuum with my Dyson 44 animal. There was definitely some brand new dog hair that was on there. I don't know who could be responsible for that. Hmm. But there was definitely some dog hair on the couch. <laughs> So when I wanted to make the space feel a little more luxurious, the first thing I want to do is I want to mix up textures a little bit. And this had a really plush, soft texture, which was a good contrast to the texture of the sofa. And this was a pair of pillows for only $19.99. And of course, I cut the tags off because who wants to look at tags? Oh my gosh, in the comments, let me know if you guys were scared to cut tags off when you were a kid because it was like, they had those warnings on tags that say like you could be arrested or like whatever anyway I also got this really cool floral design pillow with pops of gold on it it was awesome it was only $16.99 and the cool thing that about this pillow is I discovered that it actually has a pillow cover so if I wanted to change my aesthetic or change the way that it looked I can just pop the cover off and replace it with something else And since we're doing blush and gray and blush and gold, I kept the old gray fuzzy blanket, oh not blanket, pillow, and the old gold accented pillow and they coordinated right quite nicely. So the next thing I did was uh, glam up our little table tray there. I definitely was going to keep the remote control caddy because that is muy importante, but I wanted to switch up the coasters. Our coasters didn't match and I didn't really understand why we had two sets of not matching coasters it was really bizarre and one of the coasters was like shedding every time we touched it so I'm going to keep them around I'm not gonna throw them away because if we have parties we're gonna need some extra coasters so they'll be the extra coasters but I wanted to give it a good vacuum because there was definitely some coaster dirt and dog hair in there the dog hair struggle I'm telling you it's real anyway I got this faux flower display from Marshall's for only $14.99 and it's super cute it kept with that white ceramic theme that is going Going with the remote control caddy. I also wanted to uh, grab some new coasters and I got these awesome marble coasters from Marshalls for only 10 bucks. They are beautiful and real marble and they have a copper coated handle so they are beautiful. So with that copper coated handle I wanted to put the copper uh, plant back so I did that. I almost forgot I got an awesome throw from Marshalls as well from Donna Care in New York but it was on clearance for 16 smackaroos. What a dealio. So as you can see, it is beautiful blush and gray in our living room now. And I think it looks a little bit more glam, a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more comfy. I am a Taurus and I love my home to be nice and cozy and comfy. So this speaks to my Taurian sensibilities. I love the new accents on the tray. I think they add a little something and I love the copper accents. I put the succulent back because he's copper and he has to stay and the new coasters I just I'm I'm in love by the way the tray also from Marshall's perfectly matches the table just had to point that out there I don't know how I did that because the table is from West Elm and the tray is not but I mean I got really really lucky at Marshall's Marshall's is one of my favorite places to shop so here we are here is the new room with all the beautiful blush accents I don't care how long it's trending. I'm loving it as long as it's trendy. When the next trend comes around, I guess I'll switch to the next trend. If you like content like this, please subscribe. It's totally free. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.